The movement towards surrounder, the letting go, seems to be a step into nothingness, into a deep, dark hole. But that is something you have been made to believe. You have come to believe that it is necessary to take control of your life with your mind and your will. And that is a human thing to do, because only humans are capable of free will. Compared with the other creators of Nader, you have many more capabilities and there is tempting to want to shape life using your will and thought. But if this determination takes the upper hand, your vision becomes narrow. You are restricted by what you perceive from your perspective, as well as the ideas you derive from others. You develop tunnel vision if you rely only on your wits, on what you know, and on your reasoning, ideas, and the plans you have. And this can happen especially when you do these things without counsel in your feeling, your true nature, because counsel in your feelings, your nature, is basic to the flow that brings you joy. For those of us who find ourselves constantly busy and doing, it's often hard to imagine a more effortless life. Life is striving, pushing to make things happen, trying to catch up, trying to stay on top of things. An approach called non-effort might seem a bit nonsensical. But if this is you, notice how tense you are most of the day. Your jaw might be sore from clenching, your torso is tight, you are tired from so many activities, everything might seem like a struggle. What would it be like if life were more effortless, more relaxed, more trusting, more surrounded? Let's explore this and see what might be possible. To start with, let me tell you who this article is not for. It's not meant for people who could use a little more effort. If you find yourself relaxed and feeling spaciousness in your life, but feeling that you can't be ours to take on hard things, this isn't what you need. You could likely use a little more effort into things, which would require a different approach Finding the approach that's right for you is about putting in right effort, not too much, not too little. When polarization neutralizes in zero point energy, we achieve perfect stillness, not a ripple or chaotic disturbance in the field, but divine calm balance. It is sublime. The threshold points or gateways provides the fertile potency to influence the field. When we ascend into higher threshold resonance, our world reality expands into more complex consciousness. Often referred to as the great turning of the wheel, the Aquinix gateway opens the dimensional door when day and night are equal. Next Monday's Arises Equinix portal provides a balance point, a safe heaven, the quiet between the storm, the joy in the now. Here is a time to celebrate not what pulls us apart, but what pulls us together. Now feel what happens when you let go of trying to control life. Take something from your everyday life. Something that occupies your mind, such as a problem in which you've already invested many hours of thought. Or the things you worry and fret about, and now imagine that you release all expectations about a solution. Release the problem and look to where your consciousness travels of itself in your body. You can feel, when you let go, how you sink deeper into your body. You become more conscious of your physicality, 
your arms and hands, your legs and feet. Feel the tranquility that is natural to your body. Your body goes through many processes during each day. All these processes progress steadily at a natural pace. Everything has its rhythm inside your body, just as does the life of nature outside your body. Yet, you often have such an anxious spirit. It wants to leap ahead, and so, loses connection with the flow inside you. However, your feelings are closer to the natural flow of life within you, so connect with them and let your awareness flow throughout your body. Non-effort isn't just about making things easier for yourself though, that is a huge benefit. Things become more relaxed, more effortless, less of a struggle, but it's about more than that. Something different emerges when you relax into non-effort. Not only a different kind of result, but a different kind of wisdom. In the meditation example above, in the first, a full model, you might actually get much better at single-pointed focus with a lot of effort. But in the second, non-effort model, you gain access to a trustful part of yourself that relates to the world in a different way. It sees the beauty in the world just as it is and understands itself as a part of that living, a breathing wonder. What if we begin to cultivate that kind of relationship with life by relaxing a bit, pushing less, and reclaiming our spot in the flow of life?